So we got a woman that says she was drugged at a local legal seafood in Boston, Massachusetts, my hometown. Uh, let's tune into the video and see what's going on out here in East Street. Well, developing at 7, a woman's warning about a drug drink at a popular local restaurant. And it's spreading fast on social media. Maybe see Jen's Kirsten Glavin spoke to her. She's live in the seaport outside Legal Seafoods with the woman's story. Kirsten? Yeah, all of this started after the woman posted about this terrifying experience on TikTok. Now, it allegedly happened at the Legal Seafoods here on Northern Ave. And right now, the restaurant is investigating those claims. The woman is a 32-year-old who says she went to Oktoberfest Saturday night with a friend, then popped into Legal after and sat alone for a while. She says she ordered a water and that halfway through the bartender came over, took the water back and then gave her a new one. Now, not long after, she says her vision was blurry and she had the gut feeling she had been drugged. Luckily, she was able to leave right away and catch an Uber home with her dad on the phone the whole way. And the next day, she made a TikTok warning others, which has since gone viral. Now, we did speak with her today about this entire incident. Take a listen. I'm Hold up. Hold up, before she speak, I'm a little confused, <laughs> all right? I'm a little confused. Story doesn't make a lot of sense, but I'm gonna let her speak. Let's, let's continue. Really lucky that I, that I got home. Like, I'm really lucky that I knew the signs and I got home, but I, that doesn't happen for everybody. And we know the realities of what can happen. If it could help at least one person, then I'm happy I shared my story. What my question is, why did she go home and not to the hospital? If she feel like she got drugged, and we're here logically thinking you got drugged, wouldn't you decide to go to the hospital? You took an Uber home. What if you passed out in the Uber in the Uber and why wouldn't you go to the hospital? Get yourself checked. I think even the dad, why didn't you tell her go to the hospital? Like, don't, 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 this don't make no sense to me. Am I wrong? Am I off here, y'all? Am I off? Please let me know if I'm off. I, I could be off, but let me know. I, I, I don't mind if, if I'm wrong here. If I'm, see, if I'm not hearing this correctly. She says she was feeling drug. She was feeling a little dizzy. She felt like she had been drugged. So she took an Uber home instead of taking an Uber to a hospital or a, or a local urgent care, something like that. To me, that just doesn't really make sense, but let's continue. Illegal Seafood is telling us in part tonight, we are taking this matter very seriously and immediately launched an investigation and contacted the guest. Our guest safety and security are always our number one priority. Our teams are trained and certified to ensure safe, welcoming and respectful environments for our patrons and team members alike. Now, state police at this point tonight say they are investigating this potential roofie incident as well. Live here in the seaport, I'm Kirsten Glavin. I really want to know how this investigation turns out. I'd really like to know. Um, they're going to have to run some tests on her, see what was in her system. And if she got roofied, obviously, they, this person should be held accountable. Whoever did it, they should be held absolutely accountable. But if also she is up here trying to get a, a, a viral TikTok moment, she should be held accountable too. I'll be honest with you, because this makes legal seafoods look absolutely garbage. Let me know y'all thoughts about this down in the comments below. I'm glad she's okay at the end of the day, but the, the story just doesn't make sense. Uh, she should have went to the hospital right away, in my personal opinion. She should have went to the hospital if she was feeling some type of way. But let me know y'all thoughts about this down in the comments below. It's your boy, D. Got Sauce. Until next time, peace.